What's good YouTube, it's Dirty Dems, aka the best looking ugly kid. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do custom Air Force Ones. So I'm just going to take you on a walkthrough on how I would customise a pair of Air Force Ones with um, a leopard print. Now this job is actually a commission um, that I've been asked to do through Graffiti King, so big up Graffiti Kings for hooking the job up and uh, one lucky client is going to get a pair of spanking Air Force One to get a pair of spanking Air Force One to get a pair of spanking Air Force One so yeah, a client of Graffiti Kings is going to get a wild custom Air Force Ones so they can fit into that concrete jungle. The parcel here, it's going to unbox it. Fresh. Yes, these are women's Air Force Ones. I think that's right. You see there? Nine and a half. No, sorry, UK seven. That'd be a big foot. Anyway, let's have a look how fresh these babies are. They smell absolutely fresh. You can smell smell the glue. They're so fresh. Look at these. Wow. These are going to look awesome with the leopard print running around them. So first off, I'm going to have to wipe off the protective coat that uh, trainers have on the leather. So I'm going to use some acetone and some cotton buds and just wipe them down, wipe down the areas I plan on painting. So I'm planning on painting this, this tongue here, this bit, and probably this this shield that goes round the toe box so this front section will all have the leopard print on it and it will sort of wrap round the back but yeah let me know what sort of combos you'd like to see on future custom trainers so first things first I'm gonna to have to wipe down these areas here and these areas here with, with the acetone so we've got some acetone um, so just going to wipe them down then tape them up. Right, so we're at the stage now where the trainers are fully masked up. So covered up, all the vital parts are covered and we're ready to spray these portions here with the tan colour and that will be the base coat for the leopard print pattern. You can see the trainer there. Right, so little update. Got the first coat on. It's very weak, very watered down. Um, it's actually was. It took a long time to mask off these trainers. Um, very fiddly, but we got there. So I'm just going to run a heat gun, pass a heat gun over it lightly, speed up the drying time. part of it done it's had about three layers of airbrushed Angelus direct leather paint applied and now for the fun part peeling off peeling off the the tape to see what we've got left to deal with underneath not too bad So 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just going around the edges of the uh, custom with uh, cotton buds and some acetone. So using acetone and I'm just getting the bud and just brushing it along the edges like so with some acetone and it just takes off the excess paint that's on the edges. So now the trainer is all cleaned up the next stage is to add some brown spots to it and then some black. So I'm going to use some Angelus English Tan. Okay, so they've got the brown spots on there. So I'm going to just pass the uh, heat gun over just to speed up the drying time and then add some black. So I'm going to add some black spots now uh, around the brown and I'm using this type of brush here so if you make a note of this brush where is it it's like a chiseled thin tipped brush and I'm just going to do some little black hairs around the edges of the brown spots We just got a little bit of black on there and uh, we'll show you by doing this bit here. So we literally just do little marks around the edge of a brown spot. So it looks like that. And we add more of that black in that style. It's just almost like adding little strips so you're doing little 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 markings with the black on the edge, just like that. So this is what the finished trainer will look like. You can see the comparison with the black it looks more like leopard print so we're going to add some black to this one next okay so i'm just going to do a recap over the process to creating this leopard print air force one so first of all i wipe the leather down using acetone so some acetone 
and some cotton buds or cotton pads and I've wiped down the white leather to take the protective coat off the surface. I've then used an airbrush and I sprayed a couple of layers of this this uh, Angela's colour, it's like a peachy colour as a base coat and then this uh, Angelus paint, it's a beigey colour which I did the final coat in. Um, so yeah, it's had about three to four coats of paint on this trainer and that was with the, the airbrush. I then applied some brown spots in English tan. We've got the name still on this pot, hasn't worn off. And um, after the brown spots were added, I used some, the, some uh, Angelus black. So I used some Angelus black to apply the black pattern around the brown spots. Once I was happy with the overall look, I then went around and I tidied up the trainer using some cotton buds and some acetone just to wipe off any areas of excess overspray. And then I used a little bit of white to touch up in places. So I made sure it was looking sharp. Once I was happy with the overall appearance, I used this matte finisher. So I added the matte finisher as the last stage and that's to protect the artwork to, to seal it in. So that's the process. And now all I have to do is pack these back into the box and post them out to the client tomorrow. If you like this video and you found it interesting and you're going to have a go at customizing your own Air Force Ones at home, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Peace.